Good morning, dear students. Let us take a look at this question from J Advanced 2020. This question is from the Units and Dimensions chapter. Let us first analyze the question. Sometimes it is convenient to construct a system of units so that all quantities can be expressed in terms of only one physical quantity. In one such system, dimensions of different quantities are given in terms of a quantity x as follows. First, position equals to x power alpha. So the dimensions of position is L length, we are expressing it with one scale here. And this he has given us equal to x power alpha. Next, speed equal to x power beta. See, this is x power beta and this is x power alpha. So, speed here is meters per second or L t power minus 1, which here it is given as x power beta. The next is acceleration, which is given as x power p. So, acceleration is meter per second square or L t power minus 2 which is given as x power p. The next is linear momentum which is given as x power q. So, linear momentum is mass into velocity or kg meters per second. So, that is mass into velocity is meter per second. So, m l t power minus 1 which is given as x power q. The next is force which is given by x power r. So, force is mass into acceleration or kg meter per second square. This is force m l t power minus 2 and this is given as x power r. So, he has given us four options here and it was a multiple correct option question. So, we need to see which all options are right here. Basically, he is asking us the relation between these constants alpha, beta, p, q and r. So, he has given L equal to x per alpha and L t per minus 1 equal to x per beta. So, we divide both these equations 1 and 2. We get L divided by L t per minus 1 equal to x per alpha by x per beta. Then we get t equal to x per alpha minus beta. We are given acceleration equals to x power p or L t per minus 2 equal to x power p. Substituting L from equation 1 here, so L is given as x per alpha, I am writing L as x per alpha, T is given per as x per alpha minus beta, so I am putting T as x per alpha minus beta whole power minus 2 equals to x power P. Next, we equate the powers in LHS and RHS and we simplify it and we get P plus alpha equals to Two beta. So, our first option is P plus alpha is 2 beta. So, the first is the correct option. Moving on, we have L equals to x per alpha, T equals to x per alpha minus beta and he has given us linear momentum is x per q. So, linear momentum is m L T power minus 1 equals to x per q. Substituting L as x per alpha and T as x per alpha minus beta in this equation, we get this as m times x per alpha. So, T power minus 1 becomes x per beta minus alpha equal to x power q. Simplifying this equation, we get m equal to x power q minus beta. We are given force as x per r. So, force is m L t power minus 2 equals to x power r. We will substitute L, t and m from these three equations into this equation. 
After simplifying, we equate the powers of LHS and RHS that I have written here. Simplifying this equation, we get a relation between alpha, beta, q and r. In the options, he has asked us for relation between pqr beta and pqr alpha. Next, solving these two equations for alpha and beta, we get alpha as 2q minus 2r plus p and beta as q minus r plus p. We get option B as correct and C and D as wrong.